Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be recording this video as I finally have a decent microphone to record with. So now I don't have to scream during my videos anymore and I don't have to rush through my words because I was scared that my old microphone was gonna stop in the middle of nowhere to record what I'm saying. So we're finally gonna have a little more of a calm aura here on my channel and I'm so stoked about that. So with all of that said, let's talk about what we're doing today. So as you can see, we are currently standing in my old Dream Snap area. I was so in love with this kind of heart-shaped courtyard that I did. So after this build, I decided to do a little rebuilding in my Frosted Heights since I kind of had to tear down my entire Frosted Heights to make the Dream Snap. So I also got these two new items from the shop and it is the Nightmare Before Christmas carousel and it's also the little train. So I really wanted to incorporate them in this build. This is not gonna be 100% finished build. I just want to kind of place these items down and get an idea for how I want to do this area. But I was thinking, why not take you along with me on this journey? So let's start building in my Frosted Heights. So here we are finally committing to tearing all of this down. This area here is currently a mess since I used to have Anna and Kristoff's house over there and I kind of just threw this igloo looking thing over there meanwhile because I didn't really want the area to be empty. I just wanted to throw out these items real quick since these were the items that I wanted this area to kind of be focused around and I'm going to proceed to kind of clean up the place and move some items because I don't really want them in the same spot anymore so I'm just moving anything that's going to be unnecessary for this build. So when I'm finally done with cleaning up the area a little bit I start to consider how do I want my layout in this build and I was kind of struggling for a little while how I was going to place things because I really wanted to keep this kind of pathway in the place that it was and I end up keeping the pathway but I do end up like moving the items back and forth a couple of times until I finally find the layout that I like for them. So I ended up throwing out some benches that I wanted to use and I actually realized that I am building during the night time so I just went into my settings, went to graphics and then I changed the offset time of the day slider. In case you didn't know how to do that, you can do that in the settings and it doesn't really affect your time in the game whatsoever. It's just a Thing like the lighting so this is a real good tips for your dream snaps if you didn't know you can do this so you can always take your dream snaps at any point of the day that you want no matter at what time you're making your dream snap so I ended up cleaning up the area a little bit more. I decided to remove the igloo and have the seating area over here. And I really wanted to do a seating area with these double benches like lined up together because I think it looks so cute and I never really had a spot to have this type of furniture style laid out in my valley before because it kind of takes up a lot of space when you combine these benches like this. I'm actually going to end up moving the bench inches more to the right but as for now I'm just figuring out like where do I want my lighting I'm also taking run arounds back and forth during this build making sure everything is placed in a way that I like it and now I'm going to be starting my pathing process this took me a little while but I ended up doing the same pattern that I almost always do when I make kind of center focused builds or whatever i don't really know what to call it but like when it's kind of symmetrical on both sides in the pathing and it kind of has like a middle centerpiece area <laughs> i mean i explained this so badly but you're just gonna have to live with it at this point so after running and crafting some more of this pathing, I am doing the same thing to the other side. So now you can see we kind of have 
This center area, I tried placing down the carousel and train items in the centerpiece area, but I did not like how it looked. And I didn't want to expand like on the pathing to have this kind of shape or whatever to be bigger because I really liked it in this size. So as you can see now, I'm just trying out how it will look with them there. And I ended up hating it. So we're going to be changing that. So after quickly undoing all of of that I end up deciding to move the seating area anyways because I decided I want to have a hot chocolate stand over here because in my forest of valor I actually have a few hot chocolate stands and then I realized I don't think I have one in my frosted heights anymore so I thought this will be the perfect place to put one here in the center area and also I don't know if you saw when I put that down I probably forgot to press record but I also have some of the star path items with a little trash can to the other side so we kind of have another twist on the seating area over here and I wanted to use the frosted fountain as the centerpiece and I tried some of the sofas I thought maybe it would look cute but I hate how it looks so I'm going to end up using the stone benches instead so after I place those down you can see I moved the other seating area up to the right corner and I actually think it looks very cozy over there in the corner and also I think it looks super cute with the dreamer tree over there and here I just try to center things so they look a little bit better try to kind of figure out the correct placement since this area is really kind of too small for the kind of build that I'm wanting to do here so I didn't really give myself the easiest time to build this but we are keeping on now it's time for the fun part we're going to put down some foliage we're not going to be doing anything crazy here since we don't really have a lot of space and it kind of annoyed me the way that you're not allowed to place things around Around this train area because I really had in mind like a beautiful kind of surroundings with the bushes and foliage around this train that I wanted to do and then I realized I can't even do this shape because as you can see uh, the frosted heights bushes on the upper side and the lower side they cannot kind of go one tap closer to the train so you can't really achieve this kind of circle effect that I was looking for but anyways I still think that this area turned out cute even though at the end I felt like I had to stop adding things because it was so squished to begin with. I'm also going to be adding some trees to this area and I'm going to be using the standard frosted heights trees and doing a little bit of mixture with the red trees if I remember correctly I am obviously doing a voiceover on these afterwards so I don't really remember exactly what trees I picked here because sometimes I just black out and I don't even remember what my valley looks like and I tried how it would look if the tree was inside where the train is and I didn't like it so I just didn't put it there I also use some of these trees that don't have any any leaves on them so as I am doing these kind of landscaping finishing touches and setting up all of the last items that I want in this place I actually wanted to talk to you guys about something I know there's still not a lot of people here but the few people that watches my videos I must say I appreciate it so much and I really think that I have this kind of safe space on here and I feel so happy to being able to share my creativity with others. I wanted to touch on this subject because I think it's super duper important. I struggle with mental health a lot and for me gaming is really my kind of sweet escape from reality. It can really calm me down, make me feel better, especially cozy games. I absolutely adore cozy games. 
and I know some of you that watches my channel obviously also loves cozy games and I don't think that everybody loves cozy games for this reason but I know a lot of people do so I still wanted to mention this because I think it's such an important topic because so many people have said to me that I shouldn't be wasting my time on this I shouldn't be wasting my time in playing these types of games like why do I even put my money into buy stuff for like a stupid video game I just want to say that these types of comments, they don't get to me at all anymore, but they used to a lot because I used to have a lot of people around me that just didn't really understand. And that is fine. We don't have to blame these people for this, but I just want everyone to know that if you feel some type of joy or if you get realization for playing cozy video games, you absolutely should. There is no shame in putting effort into video games there's no shame into putting money into video games whatever makes you feel happy and I really wanted to talk about this here in my channel because I really think that mental health is a very important topic that doesn't really get the place to be talked about in the gaming community i know maybe because people see it as an escape they don't want to talk about it but i feel that it's important to talk about it and to kind of lift that many people they have this as like not a toxic way to escape reality but more of a non-toxic way it's also why i wanted to talk about it now in this video because you don't have to listen to other people. Whoever is watching me, like, just don't do it. You go and do you, play the games that you love. I think we should all just appreciate and celebrate. There actually are non-self-destructive ways to kind of have a little escape and deal with your emotions, deal with your sadness, your anxiety, whatever it may be. Also, it's such a good way for people that are like me, agoraphobic, or have some type of social anxiety to get to connect with beautiful people all around the world. So I know maybe there's going to be that one person that this really hits home, but don't feel ashamed for what you do to make yourself feel good you're allowed to do whatever you want and if you want to play disney games all day long i mean you do you boo there's no shame in this with all of that serious talk out of the way we are finally starting to do the foliage on the centerpiece area and i'm going to end up noticing in just a second that the foliage that i put around the train actually is going to interfere with the foliage that I'm trying to place down here so I'm actually going to be doing a pretty simple bush situation with just two of the frosted heights bush and one of the purple forgotten land bushes and I know it's not completely symmetrical right now with the fountain in the middle but I'm going to be realizing that later and fix it so don't worry if it's burning your eyes right now now I am just fixing the bushes a little bit because I originally wanted to have two of the purple bushes but I realized it didn't fit with the shape I picked and I was very stubborn to not change the shape of the centerpiece. I don't know, I just really liked the pattern in that way. I didn't want it longer and I didn't want it wider. So I just end up changing it so the bushes kind of curve in the way I want them to curve and I decided to go for an inward curve because I almost always do outward curves so I thought that would be a little cute touch to this area and now I am just going to be adding some lighting I choose green lights for some reason I don't know I thought maybe when I was building I thought that I was picking blue but at the end when I looked at it in the nighttime I actually loved how this little pop of green in the lights looked in this area 
And here you can see me finally adjusting the symmetry on the ice fountain so your eyes don't have to burn anymore. And after I'm done doing that, I'm going to declare this build as finished. I might be going to add some fencing to this area in the future, but as for now, I'm going to just leave it as it is since we are kind of tight on space on here. I'm just going to run back to the bridge so I kind of get the vibe of like coming into the area seeing how I like it I am also going to go into the night mode to see if I also like it with all the lighting and here is when I realized the pop of green here actually looks amazing I think that it really adds the final touch to this area and I actually love this area more at nighttime than daytime and here I realized that this candle, you can't even see the flame on the stand for some reason. So I end up just quickly switching it to the other one. But yeah, that was it for this building process. I really hope that you like this build and that you like this area. I feel so happy with how this build turned out. So thank you so much for watching and I really hope that it was more of a pleasant experience listening to me talk now that I have a new microphone. I am not a pro at the setup of the mic yet, but hopefully that's enough for now. I'm just happy to have something new to record myself with. If you like this build, consider leaving it a like if you want to, or maybe leave a comment. What would you do differently if you were building with these items in the frosted heights once again thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one bye